Ahora doy la palabra al señor representante de Alemania, el señor Vitti. Gracias, señor presidente. Quisiera felicitarle a usted y a su país por asumir la presidencia del Consejo de Seguridad por la primera vez y agradecerle por haber organizado este debate importante. Y les deseo a usted, al embajador y amigo Gerd Rosenthal y su equipo muy capaz, mucho éxito por el mes que viene. No hace falta superar que su país puede contar con el apoyo de Alemania. I would like to join others in thanking SRSG Fernandez uh, for his briefing. I would like to focus my intervention on three main topics. The current political situation, the security situation, including the need to further strengthen the Haitian National Police, and the role and reconfiguration of MINUSTA. We welcome that there are clear indications that Haiti is moving towards a better future, albeit slowly. We have seen uh, some important milestones, uh, such as the swearing in of a new government and the publication of the corrected version of the constitutional amendments that had been pending when the Security Council visited Haiti earlier this year. At the same time, there are a concern, we are concerned about the refusal by the Haitian Senate and Parliament to name their representatives to the Permanent Electoral Council and about the recent withdrawal of uh, the three members nominated by the Conseil Supérieur du Pouvoir Judiciaire. A functioning electoral council is indispensable for the elections mandated by Haitian's uh, constitution. All parties need to make a renewed and speedy effort for a credible permanent electoral council with all members on board. Preparations for the elections must begin without further delay. We are encouraged by the progress reported on the security front, including government measures to contain elements of the former armed forces who had been illegally occupying sites throughout the country. Security and stability should increasingly be provided by an effective Haitian National Police. We welcome President Martelli's stated intention to focus on the continued strengthening of this institution so that it can provide security throughout the entire territory of Haiti. We are encouraged by recent steps undertaken by the government to increase the number of police recruits, in particular female ones. The United Nations Stabilization Mission in Haiti should not be in charge of long-term reconstruction efforts. The mission needs to continue to draw down its post-earthquake surge in activities. In this sense, I welcome the suggestions contained in the latest report on MINUSTA's reconfiguration and co consolidation plan. The Secretary General's proposal uh, that MINUSTA further concentrate its efforts on the Haitian National Police uh, mentoring and development and gradually phase out operational policing activities goes in the right direction. A corresponding reduction of MINUSTA's troops as proposed by the Secretary General, it seems feasible, but requires a further build-up of the Haitian police. This is why clear benchmarks will be required, as foreseen in MINUSTA's reconfiguration and consideration plan. Finally, I would once again I'd like to thank the troop and police contributing countries for all their efforts. We will continue to give our full support to the mission and to the government and people of Haiti. Thank you, Mr. President. Doy las gracias al representante de Alemania.